Okay, so I just did the float test and here are some of the acorns I have here that sank to the bottom. So I've uh, taken those out. And uh, the next step is we're going to stratify the acorns. And um, in the fall, when the red oaks drop their acorns, um, pretty soon the cold weather comes along. So it doesn't make much sense for the tree uh, to start trying to grow the acorns in the middle of the winter. There's not a lot of sunlight and the weather's really cold. The ground is hard and frozen. So um, for the acorn to germinate and grow little roots in the spring, it has to go through a cold period. And uh, we're going to mimic mother nature and um, we're going to put the acorns in the fridge for three or four months and that's going to be just like the winter conditions. And uh, as a matter of fact, the, the acorn will not germinate unless you do that. So a couple simple ways you can uh, do that and prepare the seeds. Um, one way, if you happen to have just some topsoil lying around uh, in the shed or and some a little bit of sand, uh, one approach is just to take a couple scoops of each. So you have about 50% soil. So I'm just gonna put a couple scoops in here. So I've got some topsoil in there and I'm going to put a few scoops of sand as well. So almost equal amounts. And I'm just going to move it around and mix up the soil and the sand. And I'm going to even put a little juice Spritzes of water. I've got a little plant mister here. You can see, and I'm just going to squirt that in there. If you just to moisten up the soil, you don't want to make it too wet, but just a little bit moist. And then I'm going to simply take my acorns and I'm going to drop them in and mix them in with the soil. And once they're in there, I'm going to close up the bag. Seal it up, and I'm going to leave maybe just a tiny little air space open there at the corner. And just ahead of time, before I put the soil and sand in, I even labeled the bag with the tree species Northern Red Oak, the date that the seed was collected. I even put the uh, GPS coordinates down exactly where the tree was, um, as well as my own little code for where I found it. And that way I know uh, which acorns are in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open up the fridge door and uh, open up the bottom crisper drawer there where often we have some vegetables. And I'm just going to put the bag in there. And, uh, you know, about every seven to ten days, I'll just take a quick look, make sure that there's some moisture in there so it doesn't dry out. Sometimes you might have to add a little bit of moisture to it. Uh, just check on them, uh, you know, every week or two and uh, last year I found if I put them in in October really I didn't start seeing the roots come out until February so they need a good three to four months of time in the fridge before uh, you'll see the little roots uh, starting to grow and then at that point you can um, transfer them to soil or hydroponics. Now if you don't have if you don't have any soil or sand lying around another simple trick is just to take a piece of paper towel and um, Take some of the acorns and just put them, open up the paper towel like this and fold it over like so and just spray the top of the paper towel so it's moist. Do a little bit to the other side as well. So you don't want it soaking wet, just a little bit moist and then you just open up your bag and pop it in there, do the same thing, zip it up, and of course you'd label, I haven't bothered to label this one yet, but before I would put it in the fridge I'd also label where the seeds came from, where the acorns came from. And uh, you just put them in the fridge and again check on them once in a while, make sure they're moist, and um, you know keep an eye on them come January, February to see if any little roots are so that's how you stratify the acorns and get them ready for the next step in the spring. All right.